okay this is the motherboard okay it's not charging this is the charging system okay you charge them pass through here okay so now i'm going to check and see why it's not charging okay the first thing i'm going to do now i'm going to check the board and see if the board there is no shot on the motherboard then then i'll continue checking and see so i have to put a meter on diode and check for if there is no shot on the motherboard okay there is no shot on the board yet because when you are checking for shots you have to check all the capacitor that's the main important thing you need to check for those capacitors then from there you check the diodes and see if there's any shots on the diode so if there's shots on the motherboard the diode and the capacitor you know from there very fast there's a shot on the motherboard okay there's no shots here because sometimes even the, the the processor and the graphic chip can read like short but it's not short depends to the numbers it show to you on the meter okay okay check all the board first because if there's any short on the motherboard that one can cause the phone, the laptop not to charge okay because these capacitors you see uh, the one leg connect to the negative and the other leg connect to the positive so if there's any shot on the motherboard the positive will read like negative the negative will read like negative or read alarm it just make zero zero okay for instance you read one side uh, zero zero another side is reading perfectly that means there's no shot on the board so now i need to check the voltage and see why the voltage is not coming to the coming to the motherboard why it's not charging okay um now i need to remove this uh this protector here you check it out a bit the charging system is this side okay they need to read this side also and see if there's no shots because if there's any shots on the board that one can cause the laptop not to charge okay no shots there is no shots here no shots okay because if there's any shot on the motherboard you will know from the capacitor very very fast this one is capacitor all this brand one there's all capacitors you know from the very fast than the ic ic you cannot know unless the ic is burned there you will know but if there's any shot you read the capacitor the capacitor will read two places with alarm like this two places with all the two places with like that i mean there's shot on the board but this board you don't have any shot i think the voltage is not coming from the ic but the charging ic this is the charging ic okay okay so let me read the the charger and see where the voltage goes to the charger to the ic okay the voltage come here to the fuse from they come to this other fuse okay then come to this ic okay normally this ic is supposed to take and transfer to this other side okay okay so now let me use the let me use the the, the volt the charger and connect so i can test and trace the voltage now connect the charger and put the meter on voltage put it on 20 volts because normally the voltage is uh, 17 volts some is 18 some is 19 so you put the meter on voltage okay then check the voltage first on the charging system okay it's coming 17 volts okay then check the this is the input and this is the output of the ic check the output okay the output is not seems like it's not sending anything to the output okay check this other ic because the ic with this ic will take input and send your output and send to this one so input and this one sent to the motherboard so i check this one no output but the input is inside okay the in input is inside 17 volts as you can see the meter 17 volt the input is inside the output is supposed to send 17 volt also but it's not sending but i'm sorry now i need to remove this ic and look for the same charging ic and put and see then i check if the voltage is coming output if it's taking in and send output then i will know the lap laptop is charging so now let me take out this ic
When you heat the IC, you don't need to heat uh, everywhere of the board, just heat where the soldering is. Heat on top of the IC to take it out. And make sure you test like this and just take it out easily like that. And you move the IC. This is the IC. Okay, you put it one side. Now you need to find the same IC and put it there. Then you need to check the board where you remove the IC and see if there's any shots on the legs. You put the meter on diode. Okay. Then you check the board where you remove the IC and see if there's any shots. But I'm not seeing any shots here. No shots. Okay, there's no shots here. So now I need to find the same IC and replace it back. Now I have the IC okay is the same uh charging system ic okay but the design is different but it's the same thing can work okay so now i need to replace this ic then i check the voltage and see how the voltage works okay the ic is the design different but it's the same ic the same charging ic okay to replace it properly don't hit it too much just a bit now you need to use the meter and check the IC if there's any shots after when you fix it okay there is no shot there. Okay, check the IC. There is a shot. No, no shot on the IC. Okay. So now I need to use the charger to connect the charger and test and see if the voltage is coming perfectly. Connect the charger and check the voltage again and see. Put the meter on voltage. Check the input if the IC is getting inputs. Okay, the IC is getting uh, 17 volt and check the outputs. Okay, the IC now the IC is sending out. It's sending out now 17 volt and check this other fuse here. Okay, this fuse is getting uh, 17 volts. That means I'm sure it's charging now, but I'm going to check and put everything and just test it for you to see that it's charging now. Okay, now I fixed the battery. Okay, now I'm going to put the, the charger and test for you to see that it's charging and before I assemble everything on the laptop. Okay, so now I fix the charger on it. This is the charging system. I fix the charger inside. Okay, and as you can see, the charging system is blinking that means it's charging it's working out perfect now i'm going to on the laptop from the side here okay i on the laptop it's on you see the processor fan is turning then it's charging perfectly the charging is moving well i mean it's okay hello guys if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel